Welcome back. As you can see in my hands here, the top voting for this week's poll for the small build to be built this week is this GMC Vanduro, which you will recognise as the 18 van. It is a scale of eight stud wide, uh, so it does fit in with the Speed Champion sort of scale of build. Uh, 439 pieces. It is completely unbranded. Um, it doesn't really say a brand on it. Email link goes to Go Bricks, which are the Chinese manufacturer of some bricks. So um, yeah, it's not li literally linked to anyone. I've not found the design on Rebrickable or anything like that, because sometimes a lot of these Chinese um, sets are just clones of uh, or copied sets from Rebrickable ranges. Um, but this isn't so yeah, there's quite a lot of different versions of this. I was intrigued I think that is just a sticker just for the stripe But some of them they look just look too jaggedy whether they're arranged of bricks on the sides But yeah, this didn't look too bad. So I thought I'd I'd give this a go it only arrived this week. So yes, yeah, it's, it's quite new to me uh, I've just broken the seal on it uh, But I've not looked inside yet to see what everything is like, but yeah looking forward to this Shouldn't take too long to do. So bag two, bag one. Just small pieces of no number. Three. Another bag two. I don't know how much is in here. Another bag three. Another bag four. Another bag four. And the instructions. And yeah, those are the stripes. Which are the stickers. So again, there's no, no real branding. Official sort of 18 logo, which looks good. Um, didn't realise it had an interior to it as well, which is quite neat. I think off the top of my head this set was only about £15 UK money. Um, so not very expensive. Um, and didn't take too long to arrive. I think it was like a little over a week to arrive to the UK. So, yeah, very impressive so far. Right, let's clear the table and get this built. See you soon.
Just put the stickers on. It's just the stickers which are the stripes which go over the joints between the grey and the black bricks. They actually give you two sets of stickers just in case you mess up. Which uh, I think it's, you know, it's neat I did and cost them much to do that. All comes on the same sticker sheet. I think this looks great. I really do. It's, it's a great scale. It's got a right element of detail to it. Um, the pliability is really good. This is just on loose studs where you can remove the actual roof to, well, you see the stickers just coming over the roof line, which makes that a bit unplayable. But inside you've, you've got some playable bits. You've, you've got the tools and guns and stuff like that in there as well. Um, the rear doors open up really well. So you've got sort of tool case there and some some toy guns and everything in that as well so the doors open up nice and neatly side door also opens up a bit fiddly to do and you can see it's <laughs> is a bit wobbly but um, yeah you've got four seats in there that minifigs can go in no minifigs come with this but obviously if it become a you know did become like an official set then minifigs would probably come with it Love the design of the ball bars and everything like that. Um, works really well. The only, yeah, I'd say this should be flat rather than raised up just to look more like a window there, I guess. But yeah, I'm really impressed. I'm really impressed. I'm surprised no one, uh, you know, Lego haven't explored this as a, as a good theme. It did come out on a much smaller scale for the uh, dimension sets. So yeah, licensing should not be an issue for them to obtain. But um, yeah, no, I'm really impressed. Um, there are lots and lots of different designs of this model about. Um, so I've been looking for quite a while to find one I really liked and, and this did look good on paper. Some of them, is, yeah, I think the sticker is the way to go in this case. I know you know I hate stickers, but it's an awkward, this this red stripe along the side of the van, it's difficult to replicate in brick and you can see in some designs on Rebrickable that people have attempted, it, it just, it doesn't look right in my eyes trying to do that in a slanted brick. It does span out and widen towards the top, which is just impossible to do in, in this kind of scale. Um, I might try to get this in a larger scale if I find a, the right detailed one that comes up. So I think this would be a great build with an element of, uh, yeah, if this, you can imagine if this was like much larger, like one eight, one eight scale, the amount of detail that you can get into the build. You can open it up and seal the interior and the seats and everything like that. I think that would be great. Um, only floor I had, um, instructions by the way, great. You can see they're laid out nice and, nice and big, unlike some of the uh, fake sets I've had recently where they try and squeeze like 12 steps to a page, which just makes it really difficult to read. These are nicely cleared, nice clearly laid out. You can see I've made an error and put stickers over where the errors was. However, as I was just sorting parts, there were two things missing. And this, apart from the last build that you've seen, this never happens. There was a two by four brick missing, which fair enough, I had replacements. I can I pop one of those in. But there was also only five of these. There should have been six. Um, so, because of how it was, I, I managed to position it and use just five to, to do the same effect. So it, it wasn't missed. But yeah, schoolboy error when you're boxing up kits is make sure all the pieces are there. You know, they had five or six extras of some little pieces, the, the odd little bits, but two fundamental parts of it were actually missing. So big mistake there um, but yeah overall for about the 15 pounds I believe this one was I can't quite remember um, yeah I think a great buy and probably something I shall keep I won't probably sell this on I do love the look of it um, unless something better came out that will stay on a shelf as part of a collection for the time being um, but yeah have you had any experiences of 18 vans? What builds have you got? Would love to know. Are there any better, bigger scale ones out there you'd like to see me buy and build? Do let me know. Thanks very much, guys. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.